What is good, YouTube? We're back at it. We're doing another spoken word. We're just breezing through these um, today. And so hopefully I could release all of these in the same day. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll release them in two days. I don't know. Uh, uh, I can't promise that. The only thing I can promise and, and really share with y'all is that about 90 to 95% of you watch these videos and I'm so grateful for that. But none of, none of those 90 to 95% hit the actual subscribe button. So if you can do me a favor as we're on the road to 5,000, can you hit this like right here and this subscribe right here, these buttons right there. I want you to hit these ones and these ones so that we can get on to this road to 5,000. I can't do without you. You guys are the bomb. So uh, with all that said, spoken word, Tom, anarchy. Let's go. Young Tom, no long hair, Tom. Talk to me. I got away from all the chains they tried to lock me up with. I wasn't made for nine to fives of working in construction. I never fit the system. My description is the suspect. I gave him all the finger, then I rode into the sunset. <laughs> Man, that's a visual, is that not? Look, he doesn't even have half his tattoos. He looks normal. I mean, he's normal anyways, though actually he doesn't look normal. <laughs> he's got short hair here, only his eye tattoos. But listen to what he says. He says, um, I got away from all my chains. Those chains try to lock me up. I wasn't made for a nine to five. I wasn't made working construction. Now, I know that he worked construction because... When I reacted to the video with the car floating in the air, I forget which song that is, the one that he's singing on, which is really cool. Um, I can't remember the name. Sorry that I've been just breezing through songs so much. But you guys told me that he had tripped, went to a Kai's shoe or something, and he looked up and his dream car was right there. And so um, he made a commitment that he's going to have the money one day to get that. But he says that, listen, I'm not made for construction. I never fit the system of, you know, working the nine to five. And so what I did is I gave him all the finger and I rode into the sunset. This is rad. This is rad. This is rad. Anarchy. He's rebelling against the system. Go for it, Tom. I wasn't made for nine to fives of working in construction. I never fit the system. My description is the suspect. I gave uh -huh. him all the finger, then I rode into the sunset. And I don't want to be promoted. I don't need to raise a buck. And I don't want the Christmas bonus or the new company truck. Mm. Keep that silly in uniform I had to wash and dry I'm not a brick that's in your wall but you're a thorn that's in my side oh. I was born in a <laughs> I'm not a brick that's in your wall cuz I'm not a part of it what it, let's let's talk about what it really is I'm not a I'm not a part of the system I'm not a brick in in your building in your wall you're in fact you're a thorn in my side let's just get it right you're a thorn in my side oh this is good anarchy need to raise a buck and I don't want the christmas bonus or the new company truck keep that silly uniform i had to wash and dry does he have lenses in those glasses it looks like he doesn't not a brick that's in your wall but you're a thorn that's in my side i was born and i comply with all the orders and defy i love the horrors i survived i feel like normals of the skies and i <laughs> oh here comes the tattoos here comes the tattoos wait wait what what let's get this back oh he's wearing makeup oh uniform i had to wash. so it's not young tom this is i'm not gonna conform tom <laughs> Clever. Brilliant. Dry. I'm not a brick that's in your wall, but you're a thorn that's in my side. I was born and I comply with all the orders and defy. I love the horrors I survived. I feel like normals of the skies. And I don't want an application or a half an hour lunch or a cubicle to work a job that I don't even love. My veins are full of gasoline. My motor's made of stolen parts. I've tightened all the nuts and bolts, but I don't want to work on cars. This Dude, that's a bar. My veins are made of gasoline on this car scheme. Um... My veins are made, you know, my motor's made of stolen parts. So I'm a, I'm a vehicle, except I don't want to work on cars. I'm not a nine to five person. I am, and look at all the stuff that I thought he had. It's not there. Oh, this is clever. This is clever. His anarchy's coming out. He's not the nine to five. Dude, this is cool. I actually like this. Tom, you had me fooled, man. You had me fooled. Half an hour lunch or a cubicle to work a job that I don't even love. My veins are full of gasoline. My motor's made of stolen parts. I've tightened all the nuts and bolts, but I don't want to work on cars. The system's trying to smother me, but anarchy is in my heart. They slash my tires and cut my brakes. I'll crash now if it even starts. My Wait, he said what? I'll crash? But anarchy is in my heart. They slash my tires and cut my brakes. I'll crash now if it even starts. My Oh, I'll crash the car even if it starts. It may not start because I'm not a part of your system. Dude, and he's back to... <clears throat> Tom still doesn't have his hog tattoo. He's still missing some of his other tattoos, but yeah, no, no. They're all coming out. He's got his anar anarchy vest. 
is stolen parts. I've tightened all the nuts and bolts, but I don't want to work on cars. The system's trying to smother me, but anarchy is in my heart. They slash my tires and cut my brakes. I'll crash now if it even starts. My boss don't even know that I make music he would care about. He thinks I'm just some stoner stacking boxes in a warehouse. I got Ooh. dreams and goals and things I'm told are worth to keep aspiring. When music is my full-time job, then nobody can fire me. But right Facts. Facts. When music is my full-time job, no one can find me. So here, here's a little thing about me. About me, you know, um, I um, used to be employed by uh, other businesses, and um, in 2008, when the economy crashed, man, I got laid off, and it was so hard to find work. And so um, I made a very difficult decision to go and be self-employed. And you want to talk about scary? I had three kids. I was recently divorced. Um, I had. Uh, no family where I lived, you know, um, and I, I had never been unemployed since I was, since I was a kid, really, since I was a teenager, I've always worked, you know, it's Gen X thing, I guess. And, um, so I took the risk and became self-employed. I, I became an independent contractor and started doing some work and then, uh, fell in love with the work because I'm working for myself. Um, but it was so scary. And then I decided to start an agency, which I did. And now I have um, about 50 employees. I have a partner as well. So me and my partner, it's our business. It's not just my business. I want to be clear on that, but, but me and my partner, we have about 50 employees. And then I branched out and started doing rental properties. I have rental properties now that I'm navigating. We started doing some work, uh, in India. Um, now I don't make many money off the work in India, but we, because of the experience that I had of being self-employed, I was able to do some work in India and some work in, you know, um, in starting some some businesses in India so that they could make money so that we could help employ women there because women can't get work there and so um, and they don't make a lot of money there so we decided that we're gonna start sewing centers and we're training and we're doing all that we're employing them and they're making you know a, a decent wage through us now which is really cool and and yeah so it is scary but I love that he said that man I just listen fire me I want you know if I'm a, if I'm a full time musician you can't fire me. And well, you can be fired unless you're an independent like, uh, who is this? Mr. Mr. Tom? Tom's an independent? Yeah, like him. <laughs> he would care about. He thinks I'm just some stoner stacking boxes in a warehouse. I got dreams and goals and things I'm told are worth to keep aspiring. When music is my full-time full -time job, job, then nobody can fire me. But right, right now it ain't hiring. My groceries oh. expiring. My rent oh. is due. My phone is off. The extra shifts are tiring. I know I'm made for more than what my resume reflects. The yeah. government is trying to dumb me down with guns and booze and sex. Ooh. I'm not a... <laughs> you guys hear that did you hear that did you hear that the government needs laborers and the way they're going to dumb you down is through what through what booze did he say guns or did he say drugs either way maybe it's, i'll just say drugs drugs booze and sex yeah that dumbs us down for sure let me make sure I heard that right. He's expiring. Oh, it's guns. He said guns. My rent is due. My phone is off. The extra shifts are tiring. I know I'm made for more than what my resume reflects. The government is trying to dumb me down with guns and booze and sex. Yeah. I'm not a salesman. Nope. I couldn't sell beer in the prohibition. I've <laughs> never been the type to make a living off commission. I'm no good at wearing suits or doing taxes for a business. Right. I want to count some money, not the hours and the minutes. Right. I'm not a carpenter, a lawyer, a doctor. I'm not a waiter or a teacher or a cop or a plumber. I'm not a tradesman or an architect. Protect an engineer, a pilot, or a mailman. I'm something that don't fit into their perfect little game plan. Now, I will say this. So, if you're an architect, if you're a fireman, listen, kudos to you. If that's your dream job and you're doing it, do it. And I don't think that's what he's speaking to. He says, listen, I can't be what you guys want me to be. I have to be my own thing, is what he's saying. And, man, we should all try to live that way. Do your own thing if you can. Find something that you're passionate about and, and go for it. I mean, yes, it's risky and yes, there's a cost to it, but anything with value has cost attached to it, right? If you're going to do something that has a lot of value, that's going to have a lot of reward at the end of it, it's going to cost you. And so my, my recommendation is step out and try it. Just try it. Do it. Architect, an engineer, a pilot, or a mailman, I'm something that don't fit into their perfect little game plan. Mm. I'm me. And they can try to kill my spirit with overtime when the barn burns. Yep. But if there's one thing I ain't scared of, it is long days and hard work. Good. So they can pay themselves a dollar while I only make a cent. But I will stack Ooh. up all my pennies till they're higher than the fence. Then I'll Good. climb them like a ladder and jump to the other side. Spend the that. nickels that I made on a taxi or hitch a ride. But they never thought they'd see the day I left them to survive and use the system that they built to leave their system all behind. Oh, I like
like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I was caught up in the system because I had to survive. But listen, I used your system against you. I used your system to get out of the system that you had me in. Oh, I love this. This is really good. This is really good. Um, yeah, anarchy. Anarchy. I mean, that's that's the greatest way to have anarchy, <laughs> honestly. Um, if you're going to be anar an anarchist, do it this way. Uh, so there it is. Um, I'm going to hop on to the next one. God bless you guys. <laughs> Bye.